Hey! hey! Welcome to Thirsty Amigos. Thanks for joining us on this episode. Welcome. Uh, Eric and Dominic are still on assignment. They it's should a long be back assignment, soon. but they're um, going to be back soon. They're going to be back soon. So we might pepper them in in a... Uh, on an impromptu video pretty soon too. Yes, yes. But mi amigo Mike is here. Thanks for joining us, Mike, <laughs> on this episode. Um, we're going to back to the cellar again. Yes. But this beer was donated by our good friend Kevon yes. from where we work. Yes. He is a uh, fan of the show. He watches. He's a subscriber. Make sure you subscribe to the, right. the show. And he said, "Hey." We got a couple beers I'm not going to drink. Would you guys mind t uh, testing them, tasting them? I said, sure, yeah, please. We will never turn down a beer to taste. Yeah. And uh, so what he brought, and it, I was like, wow, he really delivered, because this is a special beer. Um, I was, this is a from Avery Brewing up in Boulder, Colorado, which, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're going to see a lot of Avery on this show. Yes. We love Avery. Uh, but this one was brewery only release. Nice. So they only released it at the brewery. Yeah. They only released 127 cases. That's very that, low, that's guys. It. And only at the brewery. <laughs> it's this was uh, bottled in April seventeenth, twenty seventeen. Yep. So we're coming so up on five years. Five years. Five years. Five years now, and the alcohol percentage ten point four. Ten point four percent. So yeah. it's a little less than <coughs> what we've good. tasted in the last previous weeks, but uh, we're in the sweet spot for an age. This is a ten percenter, five years aged. I'm. I'm saying that's where it needs to be. Yeah. If you're going to age a beer about five years. I know we have some way past that. that yeah. But this one's going to be very interesting. And this one is a, um, it's part, it's number 44 of their barrel age series. It's a stout. So our stout, yeah. Stout time. Stouts, <laughs> aged in scotch barrels. Yeah. Used so this one's, scotch barrels. This one's going to be a, a very unique taste. Yeah. Are you a scotch guy? I have not done scotch in a long time, yeah. so this will be interesting. <laughs> um, I have I've only done scotch a few times with our friend uh, Dan. Dan yep. knew yeah, some Mr. scotch, Dan. and then um, our friend Calvin, who we're gonna you're gonna see him on the show yeah. pretty soon. I'm not sure if he's done a scotch. He has a little been? scotch in his collection. I know you've been there. Yeah. yeah, he has a little bit of scotch, but he's more of a bourbon man. But okay. he would definitely know the taste. So we have two bottles. We'll save one. Yep. We'll, we'll probably take one to Calvin's uh, bar yeah. and, and let him taste it. And we'll put him on the spot. Calvin, you're on notice. There you go. To see <laughs> if uh, he can match a... A scotch, or right. yeah, a scotch with this, and see if we can pair it. Really yeah, definitely. Well. definitely. So uh, yeah, heads up. Sorry, <laughs> you're on. You're on notice now. So let's get into this beer. Enough All talk. All right. Yeah. Because this one, yeah. Thank you again, Kevin. Really appreciate yes. it. Yeah. Shout out to you. You're that was huge. This is this is not a light gift at all. All right. What do you think? I'm thinking it's a stout, so it should be real dark. You think it's gonna not be as a, dark as the last like, track last 10? weeks? Yes, not as dark as last week. Right, let's see. You're right. It's yep. not as dark, but it is. But it's got some darkness to it, definitely. It's got the viscosity. The darkness. <laughs> darkness to it. I love it. Yeah. So this one has a, it's a clear body. Definitely. Definitely. And you can, yeah. So it has like a garnet red around the edge, but you mm -hmm. still can't see it's it. It's pretty dark. Like you say, you yeah. see it below. It's got a nice head. The head is lighter. Not yeah, as dark as the last one. Right. It doesn't have that, that bourbon barrel age mm -hmm. looking. Darker color, but there's a little. Oh, you got a nice good little head out of that one. Yeah. So, um, all right. We'll so, so scotch. We should have. We should on the nosing have a little bit of smoke. Okay. So let's see, let's see. if we do that. Let's do this. Oh, Ooh, a little bit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that is <Right>. smoky. <laughs> right away. Whoa! Oh, that. Oh wow! So. I don't know. My sniffer's like smoked up. It's like I don't know if I get much more. I'm trying. To, what are you getting, Reese? Uh, so I get, I get a campfire log right. smoke, but not after it's been put out. That's the right. worst during, smell in the world. Yeah, during. It's when you're dumping water on a campfire. Yeah. No, this is a nice. It's burning. The wood is a nice crackling in the fire pit. Yeah. But I can't specify the wood. It doesn't smell like a. <laughs> Doesn't smell like a smoking wood right. for cooking. Does that right. make sense? I hope that yeah. makes sense. Let me just see this again. Yeah, it, it doesn't give you much. It just says stout yeah. aged in Scotch barrels. So it definitely has the Scotch element. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying that to peat. That has that smoky peat. Like I'm trying to lick for some coffee, <sighs> but I don't Something. really get much anything of coffee. Yeah, I can't get past the. It's just smoke. And I know. 
I know this is, it's, it's a descriptor and it's not a bad because this has been used before, but I get like a uh, plastic smell after the smoke. A when little. You get in there. A little. Like, like as it's been sitting in the glass, the smoke is dissipating, but it's still. Yeah, if we let it warmed up, it might change, but yeah. let's, let's get into this. All Salute right. Mike. Salute. Salute amigos. Amigos. Wow. Yeah, that's uh That's Scotch. <laughs> I was gonna say there is I haven't no... tasted Scotch in a long time, but I'm thinking that Yep, I'm getting scotched. I yep, I get earth the peaty, tone, like an earth. earth tone. Yeah, so the peatiness, the smoke yeah. is so the, the the smoke's not overpowering, but no the smoke comes and then you get I think that uh the is it tart? What am I getting right there? I mean I'm still tasting that earth tone. Like that earth tone is lingering, but you're right. The smoke doesn't just, you know, it dissipates pretty quickly. Yeah. And then you're left with the, with the scotch flavoring. Yeah. Basically. So it's definitely different than a barrel-aged beer. Oh, yes. Yeah, the scotch, so, whatever, like, however that scotch gets into the barrel, it definitely is different. It's not as thick nope. as a traditional. Right. Yeah, this is not a... For... Compared to track 10 that we had last week, the viscosity is a lot thinner yes. on this yeah. stout. It is thicker than track 8, but not as thick as track 10. So, <laughs> like a scotch, it just my whole mouth is just filled with smokiness. Yep. That peat, the smoky peat. I almost have like, I, I almost have like, I, I chewed on dirt a little bit. You know what I mean? Like a, like a, a good dirt. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's... Um, so, yeah, let me read this real quick. It says, PD and polarizing. I can see this being very polarizing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would love to see Dominic and Eric's reaction to this one. Yeah, because Eric, Eric would be, like, trying to... Like, I don't think he would like it. Yeah, he would He would do new car smell, probably. Delicious and divisive. What else would you expect when we got our hands on a rare Isla Scotch Barrels? Yeah. Mm. Um... Yeah, it's it's a very unique taste. Like you said, if you like scotch, it'll be a home run for you. I'm just looking to see which kind of scotch they use, and they, they're not saying on here. I didn't say. Uh -uh. That's what I was trying to see. Yeah. If maybe when we go to Calvin's, yeah. we can pair this with something. That Being a 10.4% alcohol, oh. it does feel more boozy than 10.4. You know what I mean? The it, whole, it, <laughs> it could be the booziness and the flavor and the smokiness. Everything slows you down. This yeah. is not a... Slam it, beer. No, this is a yeah. sipping beer. This yeah. is something where this would take you. I bet as this sits. Sorry, dinner. Oh no. As, as as it sits and opens up, you'll get more flavor. It'll just yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah. This is yeah. To your point, it's a sit down, sip it, have good conversation with your amigos, mm -hmm. and your amigos, and just sit there and let it. And then we'll we'll try that. When we do it, but yeah, it but, is but, it is very unique. Yeah. There's nothing like we've had on the show at all. No, no. At all. Was, no. Wow. Good I mean, job, we had Avery. We had that smoky beer um, on the advent calendar, but that's oh, a totally different. Quick. Well, real quick, know, this yeah. or that one? Oh, this. Yeah, okay, I agree. Yeah, Definitely. 100%. Definitely. This, this one, this is so unique. It just, mm -hmm. you, it just, you keep going back to it. Yeah. And then as you go along, the... You get used to the smokiness and everything. So. You do, you do, because like now, don't take a gulp, just sip. You know. No, that's why you can't gulp this at all. Yeah. And and the smokiness, I mean, like you said, it is getting cooler. Just, mm. The smokiness has kind of come down a little, but that peaty, earthy taste is yeah. sticking around. That's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's a flavor let, profile. We're gonna let Mr. Reese do the. Uh, oh, the I'll go first. This. Um, ooh, that's, <laughs> so this one, I'm going to give it, oh, just cause, uh, I'm going to give it four sombreros. I'm going to give it four sombreros. It is a, a unique enough project beer that yeah. Avery did where it holds up to what they're trying to achieve. I think they achieved it. Definitely. And, the, Definitely. and uh, not in a bad way, but I think a mature palate is kind of required for this. Yes. Yeah, you have I, to be almost a Scotch kind of person to if, really yeah, enjoy this. If a hundred percent agree with that. If you do not like a peaty, smoky Scotch, 
And, and um, yeah, you may... <laughs> and that's why I wanted to see... Yeah, we need to see some people right. who, who are not just drink this. Because it's totally going to flip their... It's going to yeah. blow their mind. Yeah. Um, and this isn't a... And I know we've had Mezcal on here. Right. This is nothing like a Mezcal barrel aged anything no this no, is one's, definitely scotch that one's very earth tone yeah you know yeah this has more of a just like a almost right. like a potato oh, potato farm dirt you know yeah. <laughs> what was that show number one or two or do we i can't remember we'll have to go back yeah we did the one from firestone walker the oh, aged. yes and this that was totally different yeah exactly this one is 100 percent okay talk 100 percent scotch flavor forward yeah and uh if you if you love scotch you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Hopefully you can get it. <laughs> I'm saying it. Right. Probably hyping it up. Now you want to get it. It's going to be hard to find. But yeah. yeah. Mike, what do you think? Um, I'm going to give it a solid three and a half sombreros. Three and a half sombreros. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was going between three and three and a half. Okay. Um, because, you know, like you said, there's no coffee. There's no chocolate. You know, kind of a traditional stout um, kind right. of flavor. But, um, but yeah, it, it definitely, the flavor tone changes. And I like that. I like that cold, very smoky. The warmer it gets, less smoky, more kind of earthy. So yeah, solid three and a half sombreros. Very good. Yeah. I, yep. yep. Good job. Yeah. All right. This one is a uh, one of the more interesting beers yeah. that we've had on here. It's, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like I would go out and get it if you can. Like you said, I know it's, this is a uh, five years old now, but I'm sure they have newer ones out there. So yeah, I mean, you might know some people or friends. Um, yeah. And on here, I did read too. Unfortunately. They said uh, 92 cases shared Ooh. at the brewery only. That's low. 35 were hoarded. So, <laughs> hoarded. If, I love that. <laughs> if you're in the Boulder area and it's been five years, I don't know how many they might have left. <laughs> yeah, the I was going to say, probably But not. if you beg and plead and, and show them this video, hey, yeah, there, right? we, we sent you to Avery <laughs> Brewery to get some of this. Yeah. They, um, he's like, and they might. Crack one out of the cellar for you. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, definitely. But uh, thanks for joining us on this one, guys. Yeah. yeah. Salud. Salud. Yeah. This is one of the most unique tasting beers we've had. Yeah.